Oh, hey there, everyone. You probably want to know what is Kirk Smith doing? Well, I'm being biblical, obeying the Bible. Because the Bible says in Proverbs 6:6 6, 6, to observe the ant, old sluggard, consider her ways, and be wise. She has no chief, no officer, or no ruler over her, yet she prepares her bread in the summertime. And this is just another way that we can teach our kids about wisdom. How do we get wisdom? Well, James chapter 1 gives the most obvious way. If you lack wisdom, ask God, and He'll give it to you liberally. Of course, He does this by the grace of His Holy Spirit. And so I encourage both parents and especially young people, cry out for wisdom because she cries out for you in the marketplace saying, you who are simple, turn in here. So it is a win-win. Now, one of the ways that we teach uh, wisdom at the Smith House is through nature because we see several portions of scripture, which we'll talk about in the next few weeks, that say, use nature to teach life lessons. Uh, just last spring, if you were, if you watched the Take 5 very often, we had an eagle flying overhead and my wife yelled at me. I was in my office studying and so I walked out and sure enough, he was spiraling in a circle around the lake. But each circle, he got a little bit lower. It's when, that's when I realized that he was seeing our ducks who were playing on the beach. He was going for lunch. And so I ran after him like a wild man and shoot him off. But that night I talked to my kids about that. And I said, you guys realize the ducks were so into what they were doing, playing, goofing around. They had no idea that death was looming just over their head. And so we included that with life, a life lesson that evening. In the woods behind us and also to the south woods, uh, we've done a lot of turkey hunting, a lot of deer hunting over the years. And wow, what a blessing that has been. I have talked about so many life lessons through nature, especially with my sons, because we like to hunt during rut. Uh, rut is when deer begin to uh, breed for the next, uh, next year. And I've told my sons how their hormones rage and these big bucks that stay hidden most of the year kind of lose their head during that period, and it usually costs them their lives. So another great lesson of life. Now there are uh, different curricula out there that use nature. Uh, Charlotte Mason especially is good uh, with using nature, but whether you use Charlotte Mason or there's several others, you can do uh, life lessons through nature. Why? Well, number one, it's all around us. And I don't care if you're in the city or if you're in Bone Gap, there is nature everywhere. Number two, it's cheap. It's free. It's right there. Number three, we don't have to spend hours searching it out. Once we see it, the life lessons are pretty quick to come to our minds if we're looking for it. And number four, and maybe most importantly, it connects the scriptures with the real world. I sometimes fear that we have separated or segregated these two things unintentionally, not understanding we're teaching our kids that the Bible is for church and for spiritual things, and then over here we have life. No, no, no. We interpret life by the scripture, and so we want to wed these two together, and nature is a great way to do that. So I hope this is an encouragement. I would ask you or encourage you to ask God, Lord, help us to be sensitive to this. It's kind of second nature for us. We've been doing it so long. There are, again, some great curricula out there that has a wisdom. I know we use the uh, Life Basic Principles. They have three beautiful volumes of different animals and the characteristics of those animals, beautifully illustrated. Uh, we've gone through that when my kids were younger. They loved that. So the point is, it's everywhere. God has given us this great tool. Let's use it to teach our kids about wisdom. This is Kirk Smith with ICHE's Take 5.